sat there any longer. If I'd have gone away, as many would have. You'd have been sorry, and not without reason, neither. I'm sorry if anyone's been rude to you. Can I help you in any way? I'm the girl that brought little Oliver back to Fagans on the morning he left this ass. You? Me, sir. And I wish now that I'd never been part of it. The boy mentioned you specially, so I thought if I came to you... But where is this place you speak of, and Fagans? That I can't tell you. Did you perhaps know Oliver is probably my grandchild? I didn't know nothing. All I knew was me orders. <coughs> I had to get him back or suffer for it. I don't want your pity. I had to come, even though those who would murder me if they knew I'd been here. Murder? But where is Oliver? Where is this Fagans? I can't tell you. I just wanted you to know that Oliver is safe. I must go back now quickly. But what can I do about all this? Why must you go back? I can call the bullshit runners in a moment and... No! Don't you understand? I want to go back. You see, back there, there's someone that I just can't leave. You see, I love him. You don't know what it's like to love someone like that. My dear, I'm anxious about Oliver. How can you help me? I won't tell you where he is. But I will bring him to you. Not here, it's too dangerous. Will you promise that I won't be watched or followed? I pros promise, solemnly. Then tonight, between 11 and when the clock strikes 12, I will walk on London Bridge and I will bring Oliver. Deep inside, I know he cares, and that is why I'm tied right by his side. As long as he needs me, I know where I. Yeah.